Okay, so in this video, we're going to push the sense programming skills a bit further. Uh, in the last video, we made the cat say hello, uh, but this time we want to actually have him detect whereabouts on the stage he is. So the first thing I've done is I've created a sprite and I've called it the mat because we want to know when the cat is on the mat. Uh, at the moment, there's no way of detecting if the cat's on the mat. So we need to write some code that's going to cover that. So let's see what we do. Well, first of all, it's a cat that's going to be doing the detecting. So we need to make sure the cat's selected. And then we are going to uh, go to the control and we need an if block of code because if the cat is on the mat, then something needs to happen. So this is the first piece of code we use. Um, we then need to do some sensing. And if we click on the sensing palette, you can see that we've got here some touching color blocks. This touching color block is going to be quite useful and we can drag it. You can see it's uh, lodging shaped. We can drag it into this particular box. There we go. It's going there. Now, luckily, it's already set to the color of the mat. I wanted the, the central color there. But if it wasn't, we could easily change it just by clicking and then clicking on the colour we want. So that will detect the cat on the red of the mat, but we actually want him on the centre of the mat. Now we need to make sure, uh, we need to look at what he's going to do. Um, we'll get him to do the same thing as he did before when we clicked him. So let's make him go meow. So we'll have play sound meow. And then we will have uh, him say something. And we'll say the cat. Oh, I'm shouting. The cat is on the mat. There we go. There we go. Now at the moment, this um, this block of code is a little bit truncated. It, it may not work um, exactly as we expect it. Can you see? There's no sensing going on. This is because there's really nothing to, to kick this block of code off. There's nothing to get the computer to start it. So one thing we can do to fix that is to go to control and we can loop this for in a forever loop. So this means when the program is running, it will be constantly sensing where the cat is. And any time the cat touches the orange color, we're going to trigger this event. And then the final thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure that this starts when the green flag is clicked. So at the top of the screen here, we have the green flag, which starts off your Scratch program. And what we're going to do with this is when it's clicked, it will now start the program running. If you can see, it's glowing now, which just shows us the program's running. So we can move the cat about. And when the cat goes onto the center of the mat, he actually does what we expect. If you leave him on the mat, he carries on meowing. If you take him off the mat, he stops because only when he's touching colour then will these things happen. If that, uh, if touching colour these things happen, there's no else block. So if nothing else is happening, if he isn't anywhere else or he's not on that, then nothing happens. So there we go. We've, uh, we've made our second scratch program and um, we're up in the stakes in terms of what we can do.